Uh, good afternoon. My name is Lieutenant Dearlove. Uh, first name is going to be spelled G-E-R-M-A-I-N. Last name Dearlove, D-E-A-R-L-O-V-E. -E. Homicide Commander for the Atlanta Police Department. I'm joined today with uh, Lead Investigator David Grandy and Lead Investigator Summer Benton. Uh, we're, we're here today to discuss two uh, case updates for two active homicide investigations and also to conduct a uh, neighborhood canvas to assist with, uh, with, the, with the cases uh, that we're going to speak about. Uh, first, uh, first investigator speakers will be uh, Investigator Grandy uh, for his case at 605 North Highland. Uh, good afternoon, Detective Grandy, last name Grandy, G-R-A-N-D-Y. Uh, we just wanted to put some light on a homicide investigation October 27th of 2022. Uh, Mr. Dean Phillips was tragically killed um, attempting to stop a individual that was breaking into vehicles within the Manual Taverns parking lot. Uh, this was a senseless uh, murder and didn't need to happen. Um, we wanted to announce today that the Crime Stoppers reward will be going up to $25,000. Um, we're asking for the community's assistance. Uh, we need your help uh, with good investigative work along with community support. Um, we'll be able to get arrest and go along with convictions. So we're just asking again that the community, if they heard anything, if this suspect um, said anything to you, um, please give us a call at Crime Stoppers or you can call the Homicide Office. Uh, thank you. Uh, first, name, please? Uh, first name David, D-A-V-I-D. Hello, I'm Detective Summer R. Benton. That's S-U-M-M-E-R, just like the season. R is my middle initial, and Benton, B as in boy, E-N, T as in Tom, O-N. How you doing? I'm here to discuss a homicide that happened almost a year ago today. We actually had an individual who decided to go on a shooting spree in Atlanta. He first started by trying to shoot at a vehicle um, coming off of Highland onto Ponce de Leon. Once he was able, unable to strike that person but did strike the vehicle he moved on within an hour later he then went to the a gas station right there on boulevard near north avenue and then tried to shoot another person but his gun jammed and he was unable to shoot them again an hour later he tried to do a third person running them down the street down boulevard trying to shoot and again missed in his frustration, he saw a man sleeping on the sidewalk and decided, I'm going to shoot him. And his name is Ned Jackson. He was an innocent man, doing absolutely nothing to no one. So what we're asking is if anybody recognizes the gentleman in this photo, he was driving a white four-door Mercedes Benz. Please call us. He obviously needs to be caught. He tried to shoot three people prior to shooting and killing Ned Jackson. We're asking if anybody knows anything, please call Crime Stoppers. Thank you. Question. Can you explain uh, why we're here today? I understand this is kind of a middle point between two scenes. Uh, can you explain why the efforts are being focused in this neighborhood specifically? Um, as I stated, uh, this is uh, the anniversary for both cases occurred on October 27th. Uh, it's been an active investigation since. Uh, we are employing every aspect, every avenue to identify these suspects. As a, as a year approaches, we just want to uh, promote it once again to say that we're still working and we want the media and we want our community partners to assist us as well. So many things occur during the year that uh, sometimes people forget about certain things. We just want to bring it to light to our, to our community partners for their assistance. It's believed that the incident, as uh, Investigator Benton stated, uh, he was here for several hours. Um, now, with this great photo that we have, we're, we're asking that the community members from this neighborhood just take a look one more time, see if you recognize or saw him, or maybe you had an interaction, anything that jarred the memory. That's why we're here today. When and where will you be doing the canvassing? Yes, it's going to be right here in this neighborhood off of uh, Linwood, going back down to Ralph McGill, and also Williams Mill Road, going to the back of Manuel's Tavern. Uh, right now, uh, we have some uniform officers right here with us, and we're gonna we're gonna be doing this canvas together. Is there any indication that these two cases are related at all? At this point in time, we do not believe they're uh, they're related, as uh, the different uh, hours of of the cases occurred. So no, we don't believe so. You guys are doing surveillance footage of a man that was on auto gas station footage when he fell asleep. Is that person listed? That person was just a couple months ago. Is that person a suspect now? 
We're still looking to identify Zephyr Grandy. Would you like to speak on? Uh, yes, that individual has um, been deemed that he's not a suspect in the investigation, so he's been ruled out. How frustrating is this a year later to not have solved? Uh, it's extremely frustrating um, learning about Mr. Phillips. He was a great man. He was a family man, a businessman, and we do want to bring justice for him and his family. Um, so it's very frustrating. But again, as I mentioned, it's a $25,000 tip, and um, we're asking the community, please call in. Any rumors you've heard, if you saw anything that night, please give us a call. And the reward for the second case, does that remain of the standard uh, $2,000 Crime Stopper, or is there any additional reward? No, that reward's up to $5,000. And then uh, just with that, um, just having a make and model, such a clear image of the car, uh, how haven't you been able to find a license plate or any, any type of um, way to track down? Who well, there's a strong possibility the vehicle was not carrying a license plate that day. Um, we've been able to narrow it down to a, a possible year, but we do know based off of the headlights. So we're asking if anybody knows anyone that has that type of a vehicle or that make, model, and year, white Mercedes-Benz, give us a call. Um, we don't know if he took the license plate off that, that point or it just didn't have a license plate at the time. We're unsure. So. Do you know if the vehicle was stolen? We do not. Are there any kind of markers other than license plate, ding, scratches, like anything to look for? No, we do know it has a sunroof. Um, and if you look at the front headlights, they're very unique to that particular year.